Hello, this is Dr. Azu, and in this recording, I'll show you how to solve uh, quickly equations of uh, the type you see here. Uh, that is, uh, the absolute value of x minus a less than k, or perhaps the absolute value of x minus a less or equal to k. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to solve the first type, which is the same, by the way. The second type is no different. You just have the equal sign, but the solving process is exactly the same. Okay, so I'm just going to do uh, the first one. So you're going to write that uh, x minus a less than k is the same as negative k less than x minus a less than k. Basically what you do, you trap what is inside the absolute value. You trap that between negative k and k. Okay? We, obviously here k is a, a non-negative number. You know, it's actually here in this particular case, it must be a positive number. Okay? And in there, it should be a non-negative number. k cannot be negative. So once you have this, what you're going to do at this point is just... Uh, uh, add a to uh, the whole inequality. Basically, our goal here is to isolate a. Remember, we are trying to find x. So we're going to add a to each side. So we're going to have a minus k less than x, obviously, less than a plus k. Okay, I hope you agree with that. So x in the final uh, equation, inequality, you have x uh, being squeezed between a minus k and a plus k. And that is the solution to the equation. We can actually uh, put a frame around it. So as an illustration, I'm going to give you uh, how it looks like on the number line. So what are you going to have here? You're going to have a minus k. And then you're going to have a plus k. And x is going to be between the two. Okay. x is going to be right there in the space. That's going to be x right there. And obviously, uh, in this particular case, uh, a minus k and a plus k are not uh, uh, in the solution set. Okay. If it was an equal sign, the boundaries would be in the solution set. Okay. But in this particular case, no. So uh, that's how it looks like. Now let me give you an example. So a good example would be, uh, let's say, um, x uh, minus 3 less than 4. Okay. So in that case, all you have to do is uh, write negative 4 less than x minus 3 less than 4. And by adding 3 to each side, we have 3 minus 4, less than x, less than 3 plus 4. And then, negative 1, less than x, less than 7. And that is the answer, okay? That's your answer. Now, we could have actually jumped from the original inequality, the original inequality, to the solution. All you have to do is memorize this formula. I don't think it's that hard to memorize. You just got to know what your A is and what your K is. In this particular case, be careful. Our A is actually equal to 3, not to negative 3. A equal 3 here, and K is equal to 4. So be careful about that. You do see a negative sign here, but A is not equal to negative 3. It is actually the opposite of what you see. Imagine if you were to solve x, uh, the absolute value of x minus 3 equals 0, or just x minus 3 equals 0, then x would be equal to 3. And that is your A. That is if you want the center. Okay? As far as, as you remember, I mean, as long as you remember that, you're going to be able to solve this equation pretty quickly. Okay? By just using this formula. Okay? So, um, again, I hope that you uh, enjoy this uh, recipe. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be doing the case in which uh, the absolute value of x minus k is greater than k. Greater.
or greater than or equal to k. Okay? Thank you very much. See you in the next recording.